Should I start it? Yeah. So holy cow, we're pregnant. We can finally tell you. It's that finally here. I am, I'm officially pregnant. And uh, it has been so hard not to say anything for over three months, but it's yeah. been so hard and it feels so good that we can actually tell you guys now. We've been having to like hide it. Well, I wouldn't say hide it. We've been having to, uh, what's the first three months is when you want to stay out it's of It's like life. a safety, I feel like three months is a safety zone. So we, we wanted to make sure that we kind of took it in for ourselves and told the people in our lives that we wanted to tell first. I think that that was so important. But I have to tell you, it has been a tough three months. Obviously, women go through a lot different. Um, and, and don't worry, I'm just drinking tea. And there's always been situations where like, you know, like people, I've always heard stories like, oh, you know, when your wife goes, uh, pregnant, she gets sick, she has these weird cravings. You haven't had weird cravings yet. No. I don't know, I think in my mindset, I don't know if you kind of felt this way, but like you you hear people say it's like this, or someone says they have this great experience of pregnancy, it's so beautiful, or you like Butterflies see, and pansies and yeah, butterflies yeah. and bees and all that. And rainbows. Whatever. Rainbows and rabbits. But like, and then, you know, you watch movies and it's like the pregnant women are glowing and they're just magical and I will be 100% honest, I've had a polar opposite experience. It's It's been a really tough couple of months for me and I finally feel like I'm kind of getting a little bit back to normal. Not like back to normal, but you, you normalizing. Kinda, yeah, you're not, for the first few weeks and I guess months, she was like very sick, you know, like you get nausea, ran, like, so like, I had the stereo, yeah, the morning, so with the stereotypical, like, oh, morning sickness that you do see in movies, I got the I got to witness that firsthand. Unfortunately, she had to yeah, live through it. It was really tough, like really tough. And, and your um, smells—that was the weirdest thing. She would smell things. You were like, a, "Hey, Luna." Yep. My sense of smell was like heightened beyond belief. So I smelled everything, and everything made me sick. I was telling Charles, and, and you looked I, at a tree. I was literally—I'm not kidding you. Like, it was. It was not just like food and smells that made me sick. It was like motion. So I'd look at things and I'd get sick. And um, sorry, the kitties are playing next to us right now. Everything was making you sick. I was like looking, I'd look at trees. So it was like motion sickness. It was just really, really tough. I guess we should like start from the very beginning. I, I, we're jumping way ahead because we're very excited. We Because we finally talk about it we, and we, we don't have to tell our friends and family to be quiet because they've been having the hardest time with that too. Honestly, there were some family members we couldn't tell because we know how big yeah, we of, told them. Well, we told everyone, but the ones that like we were a little like you know like oh, they might get too excited. Oh yeah. We had to kind of like figure that out. We're like, all right, you know, like when we told my mom, it was really funny. And she's like, can I tell everyone? I'm like, no, no not yet. Hold not on. Yet. No. So we'll start from the beginning. It's, we're gonna start. We'll take it back. Yeah. This is gonna be a little memento. We'll start at the bat, the end, and we'll work away. Back. Yeah. So I guess this all started with a pregnancy. It started with something else, but we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> start with. Pregnancy test, but me being late. Okay, and but yeah, that wasn't just a pregnancy. It was six of them. I know, but so <laughs> I, this is a lot of info and for men or women out there that do not like this info, plug your ears for like six seconds, okay? My period is never regular. It's a little bit early all the time or it's a little bit late and it was exceptionally late this time. So I was like, okay, protocol is to take a pregnancy test and I was not expecting to be pregnant because we were not, trying or planning on being pregnant or anything of that sort. I ended up taking a pregnancy test and it came out inconclusive. Yes. And then I took another one and it came out inconclusive. So I was like, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> so two came out inconclusive. So at that point, um, I told Charles cause I was so nervous and it's so funny. Like as a woman, I shouldn't be nervous about going to the store and buying a pregnancy test um, because I bought the ones that I used that were inconclusive. I was so nervous. And I think it was like, I couldn't think straight and I couldn't leave the bathroom. And I was like, just weirded out. And a lot of people that I knew were like telling me that they were pregnant. And it, so it was just very, I don't know. My mind was just going crazy. The funny, okay. So what she was saying is that she doesn't, you know, she was not in the right state of mind or not. You were just not, a, you, didn't know, you didn't know what was going on. Yeah, I was overwhelmed. It's like really overwhelming. I don't care what anybody says, even if you're playing, it's an overwhelming experience to pee on a stick yeah. and wait three sec three minutes, five minutes for it to give you an answer that's gonna change your whole life or not at all. So I sent Charles to uh, the store to get more pregnancy tests because I was just 
freaking out. So like she was saying, she did two of them wrong and then, or- I don't want to say wrong, they just came out Didn't do inconclusive. We're just going to say it's inconclusive. You went in there when I was sitting on the toilet peeing on it. Don't tell me that. <laughs> So I sent Charles uh, to the store, which I'm really grateful that he went, and he came back and I took two more pregnancy tests. We're on total four now. I wanted to make sure that I did it right, so I actually got a cup and I peed in the cup and then I dipped it in there and I swear to you, as soon as I dipped that, it like touched the top of the water and it just goes pregnant. And then the next one goes pregnant and I was like, oh my God, oh my God. Those were, yeah, I, those were the two, yeah. Okay, yeah. and then the other ones, Tell so anyways, I ended up doing two more because I don't know why after two straight up pregnant, 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 like li literally it was the, the pregnancy test that writes out pregnant, not like a plus sign or a minus sign or a two lines it's, or one yeah, line. The lines it literally like said pregnant, like pregnant, here. pregnant. So I, I did two more and they came up pregnant and I'm in the bathroom and Char's like trying to check him. He's like, are you okay? Like everything okay? He's not gonna, <laughs> I, um, it's overwhelming. It was I, not I, a Kodak moment. It Let's was just not. Say that. We did not film it because we were not planning it. I basically said, "Oh bleep! Oh bleep! Oh bleep! Oh bleep!" <laughs> like, like, because I was so shocked. Like, you it's are. It's like a South Park. It was like a negative thing. It was just. It's shocking. It was shocking. Like, because when you were when you said that, because yeah. the first ones are weird, because they like the two lines and there's yeah. a line yeah. and it's like makes there's there's two lines. It doesn't make any sense. So that's no, why we got the other ones. Mm -hmm. And they straight up said pregnant. So she was, I don't want to say freaking out, but she was overwhelmed. Because two then, were inconclusive and two were yeah, positive. So, so I'm like, I, I feel like I need like the breaker, you know? Yeah, so, all right. So mind you, we took the two, it was inconclusive. I went and got two more. Then they told her to be pregnant. Allie was still uneasy. She asked me to go get more. So I, now, now I'm at the, the store twice within an hour getting two sets of pregnancy tests. And the lady was the same lady. She just goes, everything okay? <laughs> it's the funniest, yeah. weirdest like interaction I've ever had out. And I see her all the time now, still at the, t at the store. When I told Charles, of course I'm going, oh bleep, oh bleep, oh bleep, oh bleep. I'm, and then I finally go, I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant. I'm, I think I'm pregnant, I'm, pre I'm definitely pregnant. And Charles was like, really, really? And he starts crying and I'm like freaking out. Just and it and it coming off bad the way that I'm saying it. Like was I was so happy, but it was just it is so crazy. How like how overwhelming it is. Like if you're just I, my whole it's kind of like that thing where they say like your life flashes before your it's eyes. It's like a tunnel. Yeah. So that literally happened, and I was like, oh my gosh, everything's gonna change, and oh my god, are like we ready for this? Like financially, like I like I thought about everything. Like I thought about everything. Like what it's do we crazy. have twins? What do we have a boy? What like I literally was thinking about all of these things within like seconds. It's like this, you hear everything. You see yeah. everything and think yeah. of everything. You know, there's some other things that happened and we'll talk about that later. There's other little things that happened from the point of finding out that I was pregnant up until my first sonogram. Yeah. But the first sonogram was I, really interesting. It was the craziest thing I yeah. think. I've, yeah. I honestly think it was because uh, Allie and I were like, okay, she's pregnant. We, 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 you know, this is happening. This is real. But it didn't really kind of hit until we sat down and she goes, oh, look at this. Yeah. And you see this little thing. It was like the size of what they say, mm -hmm. like a gummy bear. Yeah, like the size of a gummy bear. It was the bear. size of a gummy bear, but you could totally tell what was going on. Yeah. And uh, I remember just looking at it and being like, he was I, was so... like I was just like completely engaged yeah. in the whole situation. I'm going like this with the camera, trying to take a photo. Yeah. <laughs> that first sonogram to me was real, but the real one for me was the second, the second one. one because you, like with the first sonogram, um, the baby looks like a, baby, a gummy bear like or a tadpole with little arms. Like it does, it looks like a tadpole. That's literally. So it's like a head and then you have like two little things and then kind of like a tail. So it reminds me of kind of like a tadpole turning. What, what do we think it looked like? Casper. Casper. It looked like Casper the Friendly Ghost yeah. where it was like. Yeah, it was, but it was, it was interesting to see because it doesn't, it moves a little bit, but there's nothing like crazy. But the second one was when I remember I saw that and I was like, Holy cow, that's like that's in me. Like, yeah. like that's what my mind and I told Charles, I looked at him and I'm like, this is real. Like yeah. and I know that's probably a little weird for some people. Because well, you can see the arms and you can see it the just, legs, it just seemed it was that. just different. And then I don't know, it was really overwhelming. But I will tell you this. 
it's the coolest thing you'll ever see. Yeah. It's, and it's crazy it to see nice. the progression from um, like just a weeks. month's period. Even yeah. Just weeks. And see how different your baby changes from one like one month to the next like yeah. even weeks like just like i have this app thing and i'm just kind of following like the progression of you know they do the thing where it's like your baby it's the size of this blah blah, blah which is great but at the same time it's, i wish it was like i don't know it was just like really interesting to see the progression like and just see the changes that were made and we're so happy about and it's so nice to talk about it because even talking about it now makes it so much more real yeah and it's because hiding it is so hard that's like the one thing like for people that do this for a living or just in general, like a woman who's pregnant, trying to hide it from friends, family, spouse, whatever it is, whatever. It is a hard thing to do because one, you feel everything, right? You yeah, feel just, everything and you, you can't talk about it. We tried so hard and there's a lot of smart people out there sort of figuring out like, what is it, Sherlock Holmes trying to figure out things. So like when we went out with Sophie and stuff, they're like, why is Ellie not, you know, why is she sick I again? So yeah. sick. So you guys started noticing and then Allie started wearing baggier clothes and people are like, wait a second, what's going on I with this? I work out clothes a lot. And I feel like a lot of a lot of women who, like, what are you, <laughs> sorry. Sorry, Lou. Luna's right here. A lot of women that watch our videos um, that have had kids, they were the ones, they were the ones picking it up. They're yeah. like, I can tell like how she's, you know, tired and stuff like yeah. that. Allie and I were completely oblivious yeah. to this type of and thing. And it's like, it's been so crazy because like I said, I'm I'm in my second trimester. It came at a point when we were in the middle of doing so many things that currently are put on hold because we've been doing so many other things and like our number one focus at this point right now is making sure that I was healthy and making sure that the baby was healthy and um, making sure that we're kind of getting our house prepped so we're not rushing at the end of the day, making sure that we, you know, both of us, are getting an adequate amount of sleep because God knows that's yeah, not going to happen much happen. longer. The good news is I never sleep. I'm on yeah. like tour schedule all the time, yeah. so. So, but there's like a lot of things that just changed and we yeah. couldn't we couldn't really help it. And I thought, you know, those things might have given it away too. Like, first it just looks like I just I never fall through with anything, and then now I'm like really not following through with it's anything. Like you're sick again. But I'm like, no, you guys don't really understand. Like, I'm I'm over here puking my brains out. Everything's hurting and it's spreading. Pregnancy is beautiful. <laughs> That's what she keeps telling herself. It's beautiful. Oh, well, that's another thing, I have a pregnancy brain. So I lose my train of thought a lot. We've noticed too that the animals, like Allie's like always been like, since, was it Snow White or Cinderella? Yes. Where all the animals will always gravitate her. But lately, honestly, like I'll turn around, Zoe's here, Luna's here. Luna never comes and sits with us on the couch. She's usually over there, Diesel's there. Marley's there, Rika's yeah. over there, like they're literally, they're just us, yeah. completely around her all the time. I think they might be able to yeah. sense it. Oh, somewhere. I think they can. I like her hater, Kylie Jenner, I gotta give it to her for being able to hide that that entire time for nine, it was nine months that she hit it and yeah. then all of a sudden it was poof, there's a, yeah. uh, there's a baby. I don't know how she did it, but it, in the first couple of months it's easy to, but now I can't really hide too much. I have like a, yeah. little, I have a little bump. And I'm like, That's we, when we're I like, told him, uh, like, we gotta tell. We gotta because, figure it out. Because now I'm feeling crappy. Now I'm, there's some bump. <laughs> so it's yeah, like, things are spreading. The whole reason why we brought up Kylie Jenner is because the fact she was able to hide it. Hide it for so long. She's impressive. It was very impressive because we had a hard time hiding it for three months. And um, I, I thought about it. We could potentially do it if the camera always stayed here up. But I knew, I know my face is gonna get round. <laughs> and and you guys are gonna notice and you're gonna probably say something like, so we couldn't do it I would never hide it anyways that long. It was like we just weren't sure There was a lot of like unsure like things like we, we didn't know what we were doing obviously You know being first-time parents. We have no yes, idea. What I we're am doing. It's, so, it's overwhelming. It's over you can read a million books and still feel like you have no idea what you're doing There's, And you talk to a million people and and I all 90% of our friends have kids, so it's like, yeah. we have people we can chat with, but at the same time, being in that position for the first time by yourself, or not by yourself, well, like for yeah. the first time, yeah. it's like. As a, as a couple, yeah. It's, there's always those like set of rules, uh, not rules, roles. I keep, I keep saying that, not rules. Set of roles, you know, the husband does for the wife. You know, there's a bunch of, like Ali said, there's a million and one books, and when I first found out Ali was pregnant, I, I did cry. I thought it was the coolest thing in the he world. He cried so much. Yeah, it, it was true. I, I, was I, like, I tear up thinking crying. about it. Stop crying! Why are you crying? 
crying because I was uh, I was emotional. That's why. Yeah, I was so uh, obviously I was worried yes, about her too. That was See, emotional. She, the most intuitive dog ever. Immediately, like day one, I opened up my iPad. I just started down. I bought and downloaded like four or five books at the same time, like all within like a span. And I. I think read them all with him. I, I did, I honestly. Oh, we had a we, show. What yeah. was it? I had a show or something like that? I don't remember. All I know is you just like read them all in a week. You're like, I read these three books. And I was like, you read them all? I'm like, I'm just started on one. I think I went chapter three. I, I went through, a, I've slowed down. Chapter but three I, only is like 20 pages. <laughs> I actually, I hit Danny up, I hit Travis up, I hit pretty much everyone I knew. I was like, what book should I read? And they're all like, you know, like my style where it's kind of got a little bit of humor to it. But like most of them, I'm not even kidding, it was the funniest thing. There was like a, a, a theme going on with these books. One of the first sentences was, don't even try, it's going to be your fault. True. No, Wait, but you like, weren't so bad. No, but it's hard, like... I have I have a couple people in my life, like friends that are actually pregnant as well. And one big thing that we've kind of had this discussion is it's so hard to explain like how you feel. Like yeah. as a woman, like going through this, like it's really hard and like I I've, I've been breaking out like nobody's business. Like I never broke out before. So it's like you're breaking out and your hormones are raging and like for me particularly, like um as a woman, I, not just me, but um, me, I feel it because my hips and things are spreading. So I'm in, I have pain and like, I'm like still trying to work out and you know keep a regular schedule because it's really healthy for me. Do you want to tell what the doctor said straight up to you about your hips? That I do not have childbearing hips. The doctor. Right said now it. I don't. So let's just hope that. <laughs> the li the doctor literally said that. To the yeah, but I think she was. Joking. She was joking. She's awesome. Our doctor is yeah. really funny. Well, she's one of our doctors. She's like our. She, I, I, I don't know. So our first it's mom. a lot. There's, you guys will figure this out when you have kids one day, or if you have kids now, you understand what I'm talking about. We're but very it's like, flustered even talking yeah. about this because we're still trying to figure it out. Yeah, out. it's so hard to explain, and like you can just be like, I don't feel good. Well, what what doesn't feel good? Everything. Like, how do I explain to you that everything hurts and it? I'm tired and I feel like I'm gonna throw up all the time, and I smell. I feel like I smell poo everywhere. Everything, even in like going into the grocery store, it smelled like fish and I wasn't even anywhere near fish. It was bizarre. One last thing to make you overwhelmed or one last thing to make me overwhelmed is like being able to finally tell you guys because we've been really wanting to do this. Yeah, it's it's been something that we've been, we, we were trying to figure out the best way to do it too because we wanted to do it on our terms. We wanted to come up with okay. something that we felt like was something that would be memorable that yeah. we would be able to look back. I mean, these videos obviously have been a documentation of my life, our life. And but there's a reason that the video, the vlogs haven't been as on par the past yeah. like two months because I have been so sick and Charles is a saint. And um, when I when it. I wake up in the morning and I like get work done and I edit and you know I you know do whatever it is that we have to typically do in the morning. By that time I'm done, I'm like I was feeling so crappy and he allowed me to kind of slack at that point, like when it came to the vlogs. So But the, the thing is her slacking is still working her yeah. butt off. So that's that was the other thing is that's why I think a lot of people couldn't yeah. tell because yeah. you were still working yeah. your way through everything. There's a big reason I think there was a little slacking in the A vlog. lot of home videos. Sorry about that, but <laughs> let me tell you what, if I got into a car does it make a lot? Yeah. yeah. Let, driving to Georgia was tough for me. Oh my god! But I couldn't get in the passenger seat. But like this is all we're gonna talk about the, all of these and other vlogs. Yeah, like, we're, there's so many. There's stories. so many little fun stories. There's that we so have. much stuff to talk to you about. If you want to hear it, we're like super excited about it. You don't want to cram it all into one video because truthfully, we are still processing this. We just kind of wanted to get it out because it was one less thing that we had to. I don't want to say stress, but just had to continually hide because doing daily videos is so hard. And what we want to do yeah. is that what Allie wants to do, so that way we just don't do a 45 minute vlog, is that she's going to start putting some more like pregnancy. Um, just what, talking like about my experience or, on the vlog. Uh, there's experiences. Some, yeah, there's, there's a reason. Obviously, now you guys know there's been a big reason why. I mean, I'm pretty good at not being steady with my vlogs, but her, I had a whole bunch of vlogs ready to go. I had to eat, like I filmed him a couple, doing a couple different things. I just was like so sick that it doesn't matter anyways a lot i'm gonna things, start doing my talking yeah. about pregnancy stuff and getting my channel rebooted and then you know if you guys have a q a that you want to hear on ctfxc about yeah this pregnant like all want. of this like all of this stuff 
We'll do it. Let us know in the comment section below if you guys are, are down for that. Down below. You got you guys know. But the, the daily vlogs will continue. Oh yeah, yeah that was the other thing. Awesome. I know a lot of it's people. It's not gonna be all pregnancy baby stuff on CTFXC. That stuff will be over on my stuff. That's the thing. When you're pregnant, your immune system. Your immune system goes less. down. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, I don't know. We just wanted to talk a little bit, kind of say now we can. Obviously a lot of you guys watched yesterday's video. We, we really, didn't really, really liked it. Yeah, the video, Frankie did such an amazing job. It came out so beautiful. Oh, so pretty. And um, there was a little clip in the, the vlog. I totally didn't even notice it. Um, this is where you guys came in. Okay, so there's my envelope that I had Allie hold. And there was like a, this is the sonogram, okay? This is the other end of the envelope. That's all you can see is just that tiny little part. And again, people who have had kids knew right away that was a sonogram. And yeah. Allie and I started freaking out, so we blocked every word that said baby. That was yeah. one thing. Oh my gosh, there was so Congratulations, baby. pregnancy, baby bump, belly, baby. Everything was blocked on the CTFXC channel just to make sure we could hide it. Oh my it, gosh. It, it was crazy. The funniest it, part, like with all the hidden, oh, like yeah. you have to prove everything. There was so much stuff that went on these past couple months with the comments. You guys are smart. Um, in regards to being pregnant and then just like, like you guys seeing subtle changes between the vlog, in the vlogs and subtle changes with us. With us. Yeah. And it was like our surroundings. They, and like some of the comments got so crazy and so bad and then some of them got so funny and then some of them were just like on point we're like crap like Yeah, so that's when we went to scramble mode and we were like, All right, Frankie, we gotta do this video soon he, and he came he by and he crushed he it. So if you guys job. have time go tell go find Frankie on Instagram. Go follow him on there. He's amazing. He's a He's great photographer, videographer. Editor, He's he blows fabulous. my mind. He, like on some Frankie, of the he can and do. Frankie, just his eye for things is. I told him an idea I had, and it was way beyond what I expected. Yeah, there, there was like, like way beyond what I expected. I do have to say one thing before we go because it was one thing. There was two things in that video. I want to know if anyone actually noticed it. First, I, I, I want to make sure people know so when they go back and watch it because it was so beautifully timed. The first one. I didn't think you noticed the stork. Yeah. There's a stork walk, in the video. We it was walk actually an grip, but we can we call, call it a stork. stork. And then the other thing was I spent. Now you guys know why I went and bought that uh, Super 8 camera too, because there was that like brief thing where I'm like holding it up and filming Ali. Obviously, I had to fake that because I already explained how it takes like yeah. three months or a month and a half to develop. I spent so much time perfecting that look. That look. There's three clips it's, in there. It's just like that, that, that. Um, and I don't feel like anyone noticed yeah. that it turned into a Super 8 thing. And it was so funny because like everyone loves the video. I love the video. Um, but nobody was like, oh, that's so cool, Super 8 stuff. So Well, it's hard thing because the it's way hard to know. It, it was it, And I must have done it so perfectly. No one even noticed. Yeah, it was so go back on that video, go rewatch it, go say, Charles, that's awesome yeah. editing with the Super 8 thing. It looks authentic and real. It made me feel better. <laughs> but guys, thank you so much for watching today's vlog. We're so happy we could talk to you about this. And, and we're sorry it kind of went all over the place on it this did, video. It did, because this is, that's real life pregnancy brain, and he has it too, apparently. If but, I, yeah, if I could draw, like, okay, what's it, connect the dots? Yes. If I were playing connect the dots, like, you know, we're trying to, like, do whatever, that's what our brains are right yeah. now. We're just we're more here. his than mine, apparently. Color by numbers. <laughs> Mine's always like that, so I have no excuse. Yeah, but we're we're still happy we could share it with you guys. And here's to chapter two. It begins. You guys excited?